Aloha and welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Paul Fletcher and this is The Healing Source. I'm excited. I took a week off last week. I hope you didn't miss me too much. And I'm back now to help complete a part of the series for the five elements. This week is the metal element. So each of uh, the previous weeks, I covered the liver element, and then I covered the fire element, and then, then last, not last week because I took last week off, but the week before that, I covered the earth element. And there's two left. This week, I'm covering the metal element, and then the final of the five elements in this series is the water element. Now, as explained in the previous sessions, each one of these elements are critical for your overall health and wellness. Critical in that when they are out of balance, each uh, imbalanced aspect of that element can affect the others. <clears throat> and real briefly, for those that are watching us for the very first time, the five elements is part of traditional Chinese medicine theory. Now, this theory has been actualized and used to help bring people back to health for several thousand years, whereas Western medicine, the current version of Western medicine, is slightly over 100 years old. So several thousand years of wisdom uh, are, are 100. So even if this is new to you, you might want to give some credibility to these methodologies. <clears throat> in the previous weeks, we covered the uh, wood element, the fire element, and the earth element. And as with this element, every element has major yin and yang paired organs. So, for example, the wood element, the major yin and yang paired organ was the liver and the gallbladder. They work in harmony. If they are one or the other is out of balance, then they can affect each other. And then with the fire element, the heart and the small intestine are considered paired organs in the traditional Chinese methodology. And when one or the other are out of balance, they can affect each other. And then last uh, episode, we covered the earth element, which is the, the spleen and stomach. So the earth element governs the digestion. So if you ever had, for example, digestion issues, then uh, the, the Western medicine doctor might subscribe a prescription <clears throat> to help you, you know, pat down the acids in your stomach or goodness knows what else they might give you that, that could potentially not serve you well. Um, but the Eastern medicine approach would say this is part of a larger collective. So that will uh, pop us into today's wisdom and teachings. I want to pause for a moment and say hello to all those that are coming live. Welcome, Aichi. Welcome, Rebecca. Uh, thank you for joining me today, and thank you for hitting the share button. I'm live now on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, so any sharing would be deeply appreciated. <clears throat> so today, we're going to be focusing on uh, the metal elements. Now, each of these elements have nothing to do with what you and I might consider them here on Earth. You might think of water exactly as that, or metal exactly as that. Um, but each element is actually found, according to the traditional teachings, in all stars, planets, seeds, planets, galaxies, and universes. So you might say, well, the moon's, you know, a, a, a part of the universe. You're telling me it has water. You're telling me it has metal. It has wood. And the answer is yes, but not in the comprehension that we have. Wood doesn't necessarily mean trees. Um, the larger concept of these five elements is that they, they have a characteristic or a quality. And that quality uh, is infused in all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, and in our cells and cell units, RNA, DNA, smallest matter of spaces. So today, with the metal element, we're going to look at the paired organs. We're going to look at the aspects that affect the tissue. We're going to look at the senses, because there's a sense organ connected to it. And we're going to look at the emotion connected to it. Let's go ahead and start with the paired major organs. 
<clears throat> the metal element is connected to the lungs, and the paired uh, young organ is the large intestine. So isn't that interesting? We have the lungs, our breathing mechanism, right? And then we have the large intestine, which in essence is a, a major part of our digestive process. And the traditional wisdom acknowledges that if one or the other is out of balance, it can affect each other. Let's take a look at asthma. Asthma is very common diagnosis in the Western society. Uh, and the typical solution is a breathing mechanism, steroids, uh, something of that nature. Avoid excessive workout. If you took that diagnosis to a traditional Chinese medicine doctor, <clears throat> they would start asking you questions and doing uh, their version of testing to discover if you also had imbalances with your large intestine. Uh, now, speaking uh, to these five elements, my teacher, uh, who is Dr. and Master Shaw, is a Western-trained medical doctor, trained in China in Western medicine, got that medical degree first, then realized it wasn't, it didn't cover all the bases, so went back to school and got a traditional Chinese medicine degree, and has since went on to work with very high-level spiritual healing methodologies. Uh, however, he did share with with those in his community that are very uh, awake and aware, spiritually speaking. He said that if you're on the spiritual journey, you can typically have one testing organ. I won't go into what that means, but I'll tell you for me, it was my lungs. <laughs> so when I started on this pathway that's led me where I'm at today to share this wisdom with you, I had asthmatic conditions, breathing issues. And <clears throat> Unbeknownst to me at that time, I had connective issues, which I'm going to touch on in just a little bit. But isn't it curious that every time I ate food, whenever I ate a lot, several things happened. My breathing issues dissipated significantly. My ability to smell improved significantly. My stuffy sinuses pretty much went away whenever I had a large meal. I thought that was very, very strange. Now, I recognize that before I ever come across this information that I'm sharing with you. And I knew that this was happening. And sometimes, because of my stuffy sinuses, which were in my world, they were so predominant and so long standing, literally my whole life. Imagine hearing for 20 plus years when you talk to somebody and they say, Oh, do you have a cold? Literally, you know, every day somebody would ask me, Oh, do you have a cold? No, I just have allergies and sinus issues. <laughs> but what did it boil down to? Metal element blockages. Okay. Uh, and so when I started practicing with the Tao healing wisdom, and it, I was informed of this connectivity of the metal element to the lungs and the large intestine and the nasal passages and sinuses and nose, which is the sense organ smelling, I started putting two and two together. And my teacher was offering healing for the metal element, healing for the lungs. And so I started receiving these light balls and the things that I've talked to you about in the past for my lungs. And to be perfectly frank, I didn't notice any difference for the first two times I received the healing for them. But on the time I received the third healing, which was about a year after the first one, <clears throat> almost the next day, there was a significant noticeable difference. My breathing had significantly cleared up. My sinuses had cleared up such that I could smell again. My sinuses had been so blocked that when I was in Korea, uh, this is before I met my teacher, about two years before I met him, I was walking through a local food market, you know, where you get your vegetables, your fruits, your local fish, because this is, this is a local market right up the ocean. And so they had literally uh, rows and rows and rows of, of fresh fish. You can imagine the stink, right? And and I, I remember walking in between these two rows. On this side was just fish piled up a couple feet high. And on this side was garlic piled up a couple feet high. Not kidding. That, they, they use a lot of garlic over there too. And I remember going, and I couldn't smell a thing. That's how bad my sinus has got, my sense of smell, which is a metal element imbalance. So after I received this third healing light ball, I could smell again. And it didn't stay just a little bit. It stayed. It stuck around. 
and my sense of smell improved drastically from a lung healing, from a lung healing. Why does the sinuses and nose, which is nowhere close to the lungs on a different part of the body entirely, why would it be impacted? Do you think you will find any, any connection of those two in Western medicine? I promise you, you will not. Not unless that Western medicine trained doctor also is open to the knowledge of Eastern medicine. You will not hear about those connections. But this is what happened for me personally. So I'm very fond of talking about the metal element because I have personally witnessed the extraordinary shift that has occurred when I started receiving healing. Now, what I also came to discover is the paired organ, the, the large intestine is what? It's a digestion organ. Uh, in my previous life, meaning this life, but you know, a while back, <clears throat> uh, one of the ways I made a living was to help people detoxify their bodies. I didn't have any degrees and I still don't in the form of, of these medicines that the Easterns and Westerns, I never claimed to have, and I'm not giving you uh, any medical advice. I'm sharing with you my personal experience, helping people detoxify their bodies. And what I helped them with was understanding that the body can be filled with heavy metals and toxins and poisons and parasites and, and, and many unpleasant things. And the reason I became educated in that was because I had all these problems. I was trying to find the solution, right? And so I purchased some, some uh, electronic machinery and one of them was a foot bath that put out very specific frequencies. And whenever I did that foot bath to help clear the parasites or things from the intestines, then uh, my, my breathing would improve my sense of smell would improve short term, mind you, only a day or two. And I would usually have some kind of a reaction. Uh, I wouldn't feel good for a day or so. And that's because the frequency that this machine put out was knocking out the bad parasites and stuff in my body. And then my uh, purification systems, my major organs and the lymphatic system and all that, it had to tolerate the die off of these toxins and these parasites that were no longer um, alive in the body. So this was the process of my learning and I helped people to purify these things out of their body. And in that process, I learned that the large intestine uh, was a host, large and small intestine are host to many, many unpleasant things in your body. So it clicked at that time. It didn't click until maybe, you know, 20 years ago, I started with Master Shah's wisdom 15 years ago, 20 years ago, it clicked huh, maybe the reason when I eat, all of a sudden my sinuses clear up and, 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 and uh, I can smell only after I eat and the allergy issues dissipate is because all the blood is coming to the large intestine and it's extracting the food product and the nutrients that it can get and distributing those nutrients throughout the body. So the blood that's normally up here causing swelling, uh, dissipates, goes away, comes to the intestine to do its job. And after it delivers the nutrients, goes back to create uh, inflammation in my sinuses. Inflammation in the human body is simply a form of toxicity. Inflammation doesn't matter if it's arthritis, doesn't matter what your label is, your body is saying there are foreign objects in my body and, and I'm trying to get it out. And inflammation is your body's reaction to those foreign objects. So once I realized the necessity to start clearing out my large intestines, I did so. But the metal element does not stop there. Metal element includes the lungs. We've spoken of that. The large intestine, we're speaking of that. I've spoken now about the sense organ, smell, uh, and the associated sinuses. And there's two more factors that I didn't, didn't understand at that time that were contributory to my full healing and probably anybody else's, which is skin is connected to the metal element and the uh, an imbalanced emotion of grief and sadness. So grief and sadness is actually the other major contributor to my health in that case. I had not processed grief and sadness properly. And there are quite a few people in around that if you check back on when they're COPD or whatever label they've been given for their breathing issues, if you check into their history, a good half of them 
you will find either digestive issues or uh, somebody very close to them died. Uh, it could be an animal as well. And they did not have a healthy purification and process around that. They hold on to that grief. They hold on to that sadness. There, it could be related to their belief systems and their teachings, or their fear about that loved one not going in the right direction, uh, you know, upstairs instead of downstairs. Whatever their reasoning is, um, grief and sadness affects the metal element. And if it's affecting my metal element, then it could be affecting my my breath, okay, my lungs. It could also be affecting my digestive processes. So one can affect the other. And not to go too far off base, but when we go back to the metal, to the wood element teachings, wood element is anger, imbalanced emotion, right? And when you think about alcoholism, alcoholic people, they tend to be very angry, don't they? And so liver and liver disease tends to come from alcoholism. Anger tends to, to be associated with alcoholism. Which one came first, the, the cart or the horse? We don't really know. The point I'm trying to make is there's almost always connectivity if you stop and look, okay? So this is an important concept to understand about the overall wisdom of the metal element. So I touched on skin. Let's come back to that now. So myself, yes, I did my share of sunbathing, and yes, I was stupid at times and forgot my suntan lotion or spent too much time on the beach and got burnt. Um, but I would say no more than any other average person. I, I wasn't foolish in that respect. I would just forgot sometimes, right? I spent a little too much time out there. Or it's, you know, 70 degrees and cloudy, but you don't realize that you're getting roasted. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've had one of those days on the beach, but it's nice and perfect weather. You're not sweating, but you're getting roasted. So I've had a few of those. But in general, my skin is not near as healthy as other people's skin for the same age and for the same set of conditions. And that was also, in my case, a, a, a representation of a metal element imbalance. Now, one thing I can tell you is as I've improved and received many healings for my lungs using the Tao healing methods, and I have purified my large intestines significantly of all the toxicity there, I have affected the, the wood element liver and gallbladder by purifying those and cleaning those out of cleaning those out of the toxins and the, the heavy metals, the parasites. There's ways to do that. You can do your own homework on that. And of course, I have light balls for those of organs. And collectively, my purification systems are very good shape. My skin has actually improved in the last five years. I can literally look at images, videos, or pictures of myself. Videos are best because lighting changes on those. And I could see on this side of my face where I had quite a bit darker pigmentation and even growth and uh, it's just dissipated significantly still present but much less noticeable and I'm getting older now isn't that interesting this is how the metal element and the combination of healing works so I've done the healing for the metal element we're going to trace a calligraphy together and work with that I've done the healing for the the lungs and the large intestine and I process through the grief and sadness, okay? And so this is the, the bigger picture of what uh, traditional Chinese medicine is trying to share with each of you so that you can get the most value out of this wisdom and understanding. So Tao healing, when you come to see me or any other Tao healer out there, uh, and we talk to you about your particular set of maladies, health conditions, emotions, or imbalances, we will use this wisdom to ascertain is there any connections and if you are a Tao healer then you apply this same wisdom to assist those that you're talking to remember we do not make diagnoses but we can be intelligent we can be cognizant of these 2000 year old pieces of information so that we can utilize those to better uh, understand what might be the root cause of a person's health concern or emotional imbalance, whatever it might be, which then allows us to activate our healing transmissions and serve that person better. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you got to give me a moment here. I'm going to pull up a source calligraphy for the metal element. And we're going to trace this together. This source calligraphy is carries a sound power. 
and the sound power is S, S I, S. Okay. Hold it up here. Um, okay. Now let me share what I'm showing, what I'm looking at, so you can see it too. There we go. So this image, uh, and those on podcasts listening uh, with audio only, um, you, of course, cannot see this unless you, you come to my website where I put all these videos on my blog posts. And you can, uh, for those on podcasts, can simply listen. I, as I trace this and chant and turn on my healing transmissions, I will serve all of you both on video and on podcast. Those that are watching me live or on video, then you can also trace this with me. So we always employ the, uh, the five power technique, the six powers actually, but we're not going to employ breathing power today. That's the sixth power. So body power, we touch our five fingers together. That touches the five elements, helps to balance them. Sound power, we're gonna chant su, su, S-I, su, okay? Um, for mind power, which is creative visualization, we're going to envision light coming into our major lung organ, which represents the major organ. And for soul power, I will connect and invoke the soul power, which is the frequency and vibration healing uh, that will come to all of us. So uh, you can connect and receive this soul power. So if you're the soul of this source, Dao calligraphy, for Su, the metal element, uh, sound power Su for the metal element, and all of the healing and frequency and vibration within. I'm deeply honored and grateful for the opportunity to receive your love and your light, your healing frequencies. I humbly ask for your frequency and vibration to subdivide and go to everyone who's listening or watching and bless them for the duration of the time of this practice. If they choose to come back and listen again, please bless them again. I'm very grateful. Thank you. And then we also do a very short forgiveness. So if this is comfortable, repeat after me. I dear the soul of all those in humanity, all souls, if I or my ancestors have harmed your metal element, including lungs, large intestine, uh, sense of smell, nose, uh, and if we have created in your life, grief or sadness by our inappropriate thoughts, words, or actions. If we have harmed your skin, I sincerely from my heart apologize. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I, of course, do not wish to harm anyone in these ways, but I recognize that I may have some of these metal element imbalances, and it could be because I made some big mistakes. Please forgive me. And I also forgive anyone who has contributed to grief and sadness in my life. Anyone that might have harmed my skin, my sense of smell, my lungs, or my large intestine. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Thank you. Good. So now we will trace. Let us trace and begin. So breathe into your lungs. See the light coming in. So Take a 
a deep breath in, silently chant Su, feeling and seeing the light coming into your lungs, balancing your metal element. And tracing for everybody that's only able to listen on the podcast audios. Blessings is releasing negative messages and information around grief and sadness bringing healing to your nose and sense of smell, bringing healing to your skin, bringing healing to all parts of your soul, heart, mind, and body related to the metal element. Literally blessing the metal element within each cell, cell unit, RNA, DNA, smallest matter, and spaces. The sound is is puts off a frequency and vibration sound is one of the most advanced ways to bring healing to humanity sound carries frequency sound carries shape and we as a human carry very unique frequency shape when we align to healing sound our frequency and vibration then creates harmony with the healing frequency and vibration. Su is the sound for the metal element, creating significant balance at the cellular level. One more minute. Su. This source calligraphy tracing. Wonderful. So this is a represent representative, excuse me, example of how you can bring balance to your mental element. Of course, you can go see traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. They're very knowledgeable and they can help you with many aspects. This is a form of self-healing. It's also a form of empowerment about the nature, power, and significance of the mental element and its associations to our major organs, our tissues, our senses, and our emotions. And so once you have that foundation of wisdom, it changes your perspective and understanding of your own ability to help yourself, heal yourself, and again, if you're a healer, to bring value to others or to understand some of their root causes. So I really hope you enjoyed today's wisdom on the metal element. I always enjoy sharing it because for me, it's been a profound set of wisdom and teachings that has helped me immensely with my clients. If you are new and are not familiar with Tao Healing, I encourage you to go to my website, wellspringoflight.com. And from there, there are many options. I even have uh, trial experiences with my monthly membership which puts you in a healing field every day. Imagine receiving healing every day, which is part of my membership. And if you're not familiar with it, go try it out. You can get the first month for half off and see if it makes a difference for you. All my memberships include a private healing consultation, and this will assist you in identifying your root cause, uh, which then can help you to get rid of potentially some lifelong issues. I have been doing this 15 years very successfully, and there's a reason why I've been doing it that long, because Tao Healing works. So I want to thank all of those that have come to watch me live. Thank you, Ai Chi, for your sharing as well. I'm so grateful to have all of you come. Please share this with those of you, especially those that may have conditions like what we talked about today, and give them the opportunity to become educated in this potentially they could resolve their issues because of your sharing. So we we thank all the beings of love and light that offered their service here today. We ask them to return 
And I thank all of you for coming. I hope to see you very soon. I'll be back next week uh, going over the last of the five elements called the watcher element, where we're going to cover the kidneys, the urinary bladder, the hearing, your ears, that's the sense organ. We're going to cover your bones, and we're going to work with the imbalanced emotion of fear, all connected to the water element. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.